Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Bradley Dack. <laughs> Wow, just wow. It's been a while since I've been this excited by a player in the blue and white. You have to go back to perhaps Dunny in his heyday or perhaps when Julia Hoylett burst on the scene. However, that was during the darkened time of the Steve Keen era. Dak has been a refreshing addition to the squad, one we have lacked for what feels like forever. The previous five or six managers have failed to bring in a top draw player like Bradley and I am so chuffed we did. Now let's talk about the price. 750,000, 700,000, whatever it is in today's market, that is peanuts. However, in the world of Venkis, it's daylight robbery. Now, we have been promoted. His value must be closer to 7 or 8 million. Excellent bit of business by Mowbray and Co. On to his debut season. What a season. He had a rough start to life in the blue and white as his debut was a bit of a shocker. And in fact, he only featured in two out of Rover's first seven games of the season. Despite his rough start, he showed glimmers of his ability against Shrewsbury with his first Blackburn Rovers goal, and soon the rest followed. Dak had a great season for Blackburn in front of goal, scoring 18 goals this season, and he created a number of assists too. Dak also benefited from the experience of veteran striker Danny Graham, as the duo formed an awesome technical understanding, one which I hope can be used again next season. Throughout the year, Dak was compared to ex-Manchester United player Nick Powell and a bitter fan rivalry ensued. That rivalry got a little heated, but in all fairness, there was only one winner as the matter was settled as the League One 2017-2018 awards where Bradley Dak was crowned League One player of the season for the second time in three years. He is ready to step up to the next level and it should be with Blackburn Rovers. I, for one, will be very excited to see him back at Ewood next season as I feel he has improved the quality of the club since we were back at this level last time. I'm hoping we can have a stress-free transfer window and hope no bigger clubs come sniffing around. He needs to give one full season at least with Rovers at the next level before looking elsewhere. As for an overall grading for the midfield dynamo, a modest A plus for the chap. Keep doing what you're doing. So let's take a look now at Bradley Dax's statistics for this season. He actually participated in 46 matches for Rovers in all competitions this season, scoring 18 goals, creating 8 assists. He's actually involved in just 79% of all possible first-team football. He did go through a bit of a barren spell towards the top end of the season. Maybe just a bit of a adjusting to his new climate. Anyway, he was involved. He was substituted 15 times off and brought on seven times. All in all, he picked up seven yellow cards for his trouble. As for League One only, Bradley Dak was involved in 42 games, winning 25 of them, drawing 12 and losing just five. In those 42 matches, he scored 18 goals, which averages around about 0.43 goals per game. All in all, he chalked up 3,160 minutes of football, and it's actually uh, his last five games look like this. Three wins and two draws. So that translates to a two-game winning streak, but it's actually been 13 games uh, without defeat whenever Bradley Dak has been involved. And that also translates to one loss out of 32 games. He actually scored in 36% of all games he's played in. Uh, he was involved in a six-game winning streak. He was also involved in that streak with two games without a win and that two-game losing streak at the, top, the start of the season where everybody was just struggling to, to adjust to the new climate. He was also involved in the 18-game run without a loss. Uh, he scored twice back-to-back. -back, uh, and his worst was barren spell. It was a six-game barren spell without scoring a goal. And there is a quick overview of his numbers. His his goals, his substitutes on and off, his yellow cards and all that kind of stuff. So you can pause that and take a look at that in more detail should you want to do that. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.